Hello everyone, this is Jacob Ames, Applications Engineer at Hawkridge Systems, here today with another installment to our What's New in 2018 series for SolidWorks. In this video, we're going to be having a look at the new bounding box feature, which has uh, been added to standard parts. In previous years, this was only available for weldments and sheet metal designs. Very simple feature to use here in SolidWorks 2018 and very useful when you're working with highly organic shapes such as the one you see on the screen here and you need to get your maximum dimensions or maybe calculate packing efficiency which would be difficult uh, for such an organic shape. To insert a bounding box into a standard part it's very simple simply use the insert menu come down to reference geometry and we're going to turn on the bounding box. Now there are a few options to set uh, you have the best fit by default for how we'd like to create this bounding box. The best fit is going to create a bounding box that is the absolute minimum cubic volume that this can fit into, whereas the custom plane allows you to choose a face, for example, uh, to base that bounding box off of. So just to show this, we're going to go ahead, use the best fit type, and uh, we'll go ahead and say OK. Now it does take a little bit of time with some of these very complex models like we have here. You also see some additional options that we can discuss in a little bit. You can choose to include hidden bodies, surfaces, or even show a preview of this bounding box uh, before it's created. So just like that, we have our bounding box again. In previous years, we had a workaround for this that would include uh, converting this into a weldment part and going through several additional steps. And SolidWorks has really streamlined this for 2018. So there's our bounding box. Uh, it is a feature in the design tree, so you can see that bounding box here where you can come in at any time. You can edit this, uh, change your reference face and plane here if you want to do a custom plane, for example, like we mentioned. Maybe use the thickness face so you can get the height of this design, for example. So we can go ahead and say OK, and it'll just recalculate that. And the best part about this is once you have the bounding box, you also have a number of properties that go with that. So at this point, if we go have a look at our file properties, you're going to see that we now have length, width, thickness, and even volume for our bounding box in the units of our choosing. So these can be really valuable. You can link these as file properties and drawings, use them for reference, whatever it is you need to do with them. You now have that capability with bounding boxes in SolidWorks 2018. All right, so pretty easy to create. Um, one thing to watch out for here is multi-body parts. Um, if you do have a multi-body part, I'm going to go ahead and show the sphere that we have here. The bounding box that's created for a multi-body part is by default going to include all bodies. So you'll see this is going to get recalculated here once the sphere is showing. And that bounding box does include both bodies. So you want to watch out for that. You can get around this with the workaround that I described from previous years. And by the way, if you want to see that video, check the description for a link that will show you exactly how to do that if you'd like to create a bounding box for each body individually. And another way to do that with uh, SolidWorks 2018 without the workaround is to leverage display states. So if you have display states that show only one or only the certain bodies that you want the bounding box to include, you can leverage those in order to show only the bounding box for those bodies. You can use that to your advantage. You can use the bounding boxes to um, help improve your workflow and give you some of those uh, really valuable properties especially for highly organic shapes like this. So thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video or you would like to learn more about SolidWorks 2018 and some of the new features that are going to be included, be on the lookout for more videos from this series. Give us a like, subscribe, or visit us at hawkridgesys.com. Thanks again, and see you next time.